Ten years in the making. Yeah, this is the fucking, this is the mother. Phase this, this, three yeah. coming to an end. This is, this this is, is all, where it all, all the pieces comes come together. together. Whoa! Oh, oh my oh, god, oh. Jesus! Oh, oh, Infinity oh. War! Oh my god, Thanos. Avengers! Avengers! And, and Marvel, this Marvel universe, is like smoking crack, basically. It's like smoking crack because it's always the same thing, and but it gets you high, <laughs> and you always go back for more. You will go back, and, and you'll get excited. There'll be a new Marvel film. Mm. So there was this element of, oh my god, I get to smoke crack again. And yeah. I walked to the cinema, and I had that head of crack. And I tell you, this was pretty good crack. Was this was good egg. crack. This was some of Marvel's finest, finest like, crack. Yeah, finest yeah. Batch. As far as Marvel crack goes, this was some. Decent fucking quality shit, man. I was impressed. I admit it. I was impressed. I thought it was. I. I it, it must be a really difficult script to get right because it's just so easy to just clutter it. There was just so much was riding on it, and it was like everyone is going to be in this one. I was like, how the fuck are they going to do this? And they they pulled it off. I thought everyone got a decent amount of screen time. Everyone was represented quite well. They all met nicely together. Guardians of the Galaxy stood right in there, mm. just smoothly, and it was just great. The, the humor was just brilliant with them. And everyone played nicely together. And the writers did a fantastic job in that regard. It could have just been a mess, and I, I thought it was well executed. It was a shit storyline. You knew it was going to be a shit storyline. It was all very obvious. It was all very Marvel. But they, they pulled it off, and I was satisfied. And I, I give us a thumb up, two thumbs up for that film, for that Marvel film. And I can't wait to see what they think up next. Obviously, like, you know, they've, they've always been, uh, let's just say, solid at delivering... The, the same thing. The, yeah, just humour <laughs> and action and, you know. Um, and I, I, did, I did say, like, what, what was getting to me, obviously, after a while with, with the Marvel movies is that you, know, you, you start getting quite used to it. What they, have, what they do right is that they make sure that like, the characters are well thought out. And you've had, we've had 10 years worth of character development. It's so, so important what you're saying. So yeah. Um, yeah. It's, it, unless you have not like you know, why would you go and watch this film without no. any any knowledge of what goes on in the? In the it just you, you're doing yourself a disservice. Mm. So obviously, like if you've seen at least four or five or six of them, or at least know some of the major major characters, then you're not going to become disappointed when it comes to like seeing these the, the, the characters themselves in this in this specific film. But what I was actually really um, impressed with was the character of Thanos, the the the, the big bad that that's been looming for so so much time and um i mean he's he's, he's quite a unique character in my opinion um, and i did really enjoy enjoy him uh and seeing him fuck everything up the storyline obviously it's not going to be he's not going to win major <laughs> ma ma any major awards but it's a comic book film i mean it, I takes, it, it yeah, does yeah. directly take from the comic book so it's a lot easier to kind of read a comic and then like not go that's stupid yeah. um but then when you see it but it's the way that they make it they're like they they they, they, they create these events and you don't sit there questioning it you, you're actually like mm, going yeah, along that oh, makes that. sense yeah, yeah oh, of course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> there's a couple of dynamics within with that from which i really enjoyed um Tony Stark and uh, 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 Doctor Strange. Yeah, that like, was cool, I really man. enjoyed that yeah, scene. Yeah, that was nice. Two Chris Pratt meeting like Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. That's cool, man. <laughs> that was like, you guys would never get along. There's no point in trying to look for anything wrong because anything that's wrong with this film is just going to be like a bit fickle. I'm not going to say that this was the best film I'm, I'm going to see this year by far, but um, I definitely enjoyed it. For sure. A lot. They had the right m balance of humour and s the sinister danger, you know. Yeah, it was, uh, yeah, it's pretty dark in some it's, ways, it's man. A lot yeah, dark, it was eh? kind of freaky. Avengers Infinity War was the fastest film in history. 
to reach a worldwide gross of $1 billion. Furthermore, it's the fourth highest grossing film of all time. Keep that in mind, that's only been out for fucking a month. Um, yeah, sorry, this review's so late. <laughs> yeah. It's still I don't give a fuck about yeah. it anymore. I'm sick of tired of hearing it. I wanted to elaborate on, on, the, on the, the thing. The advantage is that, this, that Marvel in such a special, special position now that they can flood you with like a hundred characters, but you know them all. So they need no introduction. You, you, yeah. You're well acquainted with them. You love them all. You've, ha- you've spent the time getting to know them. So they can just throw them at you quite quickly. And it's like, a, you know, you won't ever think, why, why were they behaving that way? You know exactly mm. what they're having. And they're in that very, very special advantage of that mm. way, which is very unique, I think, yeah. um, to have that many characters that the whole world is, is so familiar with. Thanos, mm. I wanted to say about him, he was an excellent villain because he almost made sense. Mm. Like, it seemed like his, he was fucked up, but his heart was kind of in the right place. Mm. And he was kind of like, it was like, the things he was saying, I'm like, kind of get what you mm. mean, bro, even though that's fucked up and like mm. that's what was so great he wasn't this all-encompassing evil villain he was mm. just a super powerful dude who like literally just had a plan yeah. and that wasn't you know it was in a way for the greater yeah. good i thought that was that was that was really cool but he yeah. was still a villain which is what i liked as yeah. well he still had some qualities which made him almost appealing yeah or, uh, quite exactly. appealing to you yeah. i do think that he's probably the most interesting uh villains in a, in a franchise since what like since like voldemort or something like that and harry potter you know with it like someone who stands out yeah someone who's like you know you kind of think he's fucking hard yeah. hard as now he's got a really despicable plan yeah and um, and he's just, and his performance is actually got, Josh Brolin's got to like, take a lot of credit for that because yeah. he does it really well. Like, yeah. You almost kind of like feel like, well, oh, you know, it's, uh, I'm, I'm just, it's depending on my cir- circumstance growing yeah. up, I may have slided Yeah, this totally. Guy. No, I reckon if I spent a few hours with him, I'd I could have like, been a child yeah. of Thanos. I thought it was uh, a fitting end to phase three. Uh, the characters in it, obviously, all quite good. Uh, performance in it were quite good, were really good. Um, Visuals, what are you gonna say? <laughs> um, sound, uh, all that, that uh, yada yada yada. The story is a bit, yeah, obviously silly, um, but it's a Marvel movie, so yeah. I will give this Marvel film a natural born killers Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> out of 10. <laughs> Because that's the kind of Robert Downey Jr. I like. Yeah. If you like Marvel films, then you know what to expect. Because it's a Marvel film. And Marvel films are notoriously Marvel films. And they don't stray away from the Marvel films. Except, this is the most marvelous Marvel film of all the Marvel films. And if you like Marvel films, this will probably be up there with the best ones you've ever seen. In my opinion, it was. I, I, you know, ah oh man, Marvel are getting good at what they're doing and, and how they put this off is beyond me. So I will give this, I'll happily give this an Ali McBeal, Robert Downey Jr. out of 10. Mm. Yeah. Okay, well, there you have cool. it. Cool. I mean, you the can't really argue with those scores. Of right? the decade. What the fuck? You got it.